everyone, it's Gianna Lam with Vinci Crypto, where we keep you in the loop on all the latest trends and news of crypto and blockchain technology. Together, we're building a crypto movement, eventual climate justice, and economic empowerment. We're at the other location today. We have Fluke here. He might be on the camera if he wants to. Today is Earth Day. So today I'd like to talk about different climate solutions with blockchain technology. I have five different climate solutions to share with all of you. But before we dive into that, I want to share a little bit about climate justice and what that means. I know that for every single episode, I say that we are fighting for climate justice and economic empowerment, but I want to elaborate on what climate justice even is. Climate change has differing social, economic, public health, and other adverse effects on underprivileged populations. These tend to be people like those in developing countries, low-income communities, youth. Um, they tend to have lower emissions, but also they tend to be the most vulnerable to climate change and its impacts. So in order to work towards climate justice, mitigation and adaptation strategies must acknowledge that these populations are impacted by climate change differently and that we need equitable solutions. There have been a lot of criticisms that proof of work cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, like Ethereum are super energy intensive and bad for our climate. This report here shows that Bitcoin devours more electricity than Switzerland. The way that proof of work cryptocurrencies work is that a bunch of people on really powerful supercomputers are competing to solve really complex puzzles. And the more energy that you use, the more likely it is that you get one Bitcoin or one Ethereum. And in the long term, in my opinion, that isn't good for the climate. It isn't really sustainable to keep going that way. So I want to talk about different alternatives and different ways, too, that cryptocurrency doesn't have to be a bad thing. It can actually solve a bunch of different climate issues with justice in mind, too. I'm not here to give you any financial advice. But one way that you could shrink the whole impact of the crypto industry um, with emissions is to consider investing in less energy intensive cryptos. So things that are proof of stake or pure proof of stake that are like Cardano, like Algorand, those use much less energy than something like Bitcoin or Ethereum because they use um, just like regular computers, things like a Raspberry Pi rather than a supercomputer. And they're more built on consensus and staking on one stake pool and pulling resources together rather than having a bunch of big computers competing against one another with these complex puzzles. So that's one way to limit your carbon emissions. Obviously, something like Bitcoin isn't going away anytime soon. So we do need other alternatives for that, too. Rather than eliminating proof of work altogether, another solution is to support proof of work mining with renewable energy. So El Salvador is actually doing that with Bitcoin mining. They naturally have a lot of volcanoes and geothermal energy from those volcanoes. This solution is still pretty controversial though, especially when this renewable energy is being used just for Bitcoin and could be used otherwise to like power homes for other uses in a city. Um, definitely, this is not climate justice if you're taking the energy away from the people and only using it to power the Bitcoin for a small group of people. So it is something to keep in mind. Are you using excess energy that would have gone to waste or are you using energy that could be used for other uses for growing our food, for powering your homes. There are proponents to the solution though, who say that crypto mining can actually speed up the transition towards renewables and keep us away from fossil fuel dependency by actually paying for more infrastructure and funding the infrastructure for renewable energy generation. Um, in my opinion, this isn't moving fast enough. And if you really do want Bitcoin to fund something like decarbonizing our whole planet, uh, you got to move faster and you got to think about how do you do this in the most efficient way possible. The third way that blockchain technology can be used to fight climate change is by reducing emissions and waste on the supply chain. You can use blockchain technology to track every single item on a supply chain. You can figure out inefficiencies and you can reduce waste that way. I think the solution is going to be really important in the circular economy to be able to track down where all these different supplies are going and eventually the supplies can be resent to their manufacturers and reused. So I think this is really the future. It's a way to keep everything transparent. It's a way to not lie about where materials are going. And it's a way to make sure that we reduce waste in general. The fourth strategy is to fund climate solutions collectively through DAOs. 
DAOs are decentralized autonomous organizations. They allow members to vote for projects they want to support and pull the resources to make greater positive impact. So if you wanna learn more about DAOs, I'll link our whole video about DAOs up above. With a DAO, all the members can vote on a different climate project, on a specific solution, and they pull all their funds together so that there's a bigger funding pool for that solution. And everything's transparent on the blockchain. All the votes are recorded there. They're untamperable. And it's a way to fight corruption and make sure that all the money that you fundraise is actually going towards the cause and you're keeping everyone on the blockchain accountable there. And my fifth and final solution is to use NFT alternatives to physical shopping and travel. This one is definitely an up and coming solution, but I could really see that you could reduce emissions in the fashion industry, in the tourism industry by selling and purchasing NFT clothing rather than having to ship clothes all over the world. If you think about it, a lot of these influencers only wear their outfits once. That's super wasteful to create the clothing, to ship them, and then have them thrown away. So what you could do is just have them have an NFT version that can be worn on their bodies. That way you could have a rare fashion item, but they don't have to travel anywhere. You just get an NFT form of it, it looks real, it's still rare, it's still a work of art. It shows the artistry of the designer, but it's so much less energy intensive. So I see that as an up and coming way to still support artists, to still support creativity, but to reduce emissions. Um, the other way with travel is that I think in the future, you could travel to different NFT replicas in the metaverse. You could see different parts of the world without actually having to travel go on a plane, create all those emissions that way. And also I think the metaverse and NFTs could also be used as a tool to educate people about the impacts of climate change and the direction that the world's going. So there is a project right now with like an NFT coral reef to see what's happening to the coral reefs. They are being threatened by ocean acidification right now because of warming temperatures. And I think it's really great that people can be able to see them firsthand with an NFT replica. Obviously, I don't think travel is going away anytime soon, but things like NFTs do give people the opportunity to see things that they wouldn't otherwise see around the world. Let me know what you think in the comments below, which of the solutions is your favorite, or if you have any other alternative solutions. I love, love, love hearing this kind of stuff. And yeah, I hope everyone has an amazing rest of your Earth Day. But that's it for us today. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Please share this with your friends if you enjoyed this content. We're really, really, really close now to our goal of 3,500 subscribers. So by helping our community grow, that helps us have more people aware of these different issues and solutions to climate change with blockchain technology. And yeah, let's just keep this movement growing. I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.